Alright boys, we are back and it's time to continue with our Quebec City Ace Nordiques. We just finished year two basically, we got kicked out in the first round against the Washington Capitals. Alexander Ovechkin, he had a really good series, two overtime winners, three goals, four assists. Actually, you know what, that may even go up if I simulate a day. I won't be able to actually tell anymore, yeah, I won't be able to tell. But uh, he had a great series. And you know what, originally I was a little bit disappointed that we were kicked out in the first round, especially after that great regular season. But we're still a young team, we have things to learn, and uh, you know what, it's just setting the bar for next year. we got to make the playoffs again next year and make it to that second round, okay? So we've set a goal for ourselves. Now in this video I want to get the draft done. I don't know about re-sign and free agency. I definitely want to do a, uh, a playoff wrap up and all that good stuff. But we are going to follow our AHL team throughout the playoffs, okay? Right now they are 2 and, or 1 and 2 against the, uh, uh, the uh, I don't even know what that team is, the Edmonton team I think it is, right? Um... Now, last year I moved down Jonathan Huberto, Eberle, Kulikoff, Myers, all those guys. I'm not going to do that this year. Those guys are all pretty much NHLers. I don't want to send them down to the AHL. Let guys like Anthony Mantha, Barkov get the first line time. Even if they don't get past the first round here. Uh, I remember Barkov, he had like a point of game in the playoffs last year. I know I sat him towards the end. But uh, he had a point of game in the playoffs last year. He really didn't make that much of a difference. He still only went up to 63 overall. Uh, scouting assignment. So we'll just take care of all this stuff right now. Um, now when it comes to the draft this year, you know what, actually we'll get to that sooner or later. I don't want to talk about it just yet. Because you guys were saying, uh, Connor McDavid, you guys really want me to go after Connor McDavid. I don't think that's a possibility though. Uh, we are not that kind of team anymore, you know. And who who do I trade away to move up that high in the, in, in, in the draft? I mean, it's not like NHL 13 where you could get the top three picks, you know, every year basically. It's not like that, especially with the uh, the trading difficulty on uh, on hard. I can't trade away future first round picks and just move up. So I'll entertain that uh, suggestion. I'll put it on paper. Like I'll see what uh, if it's possible or not to trade up for the first overall pick. But I'm gonna say it right here. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be moving up for Connor McDavid. We already have a good team here. Um, I don't need a, another first liner. We already have Mantha, Barkov, Huberto, Eberle. You know, and this guy. I don't. Uh, I don't think he's gonna come into the NHL at like 75 overall or 80 overall. He's gonna come into the NHL like everyone else. You know, 58 overall, 60 overall, 65 overall if we're lucky. So you know, I'm not. I'm not planning on getting a, a first overall pick or a second overall pick wherever he goes, and waiting three or four more years before he's NHL ready. We are NHL ready right now. The prospects that we're waiting for are Alexander Barkov. That's who we're waiting for. Okay, and I don't need to get another draft pick here. Uh, blah blah blah. What did we do? We lost, right? Yeah, okay, so we lost. In, no, 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 we're still going. What am I talking about? We're uh, in the third round. Damn, we came back from that first round pretty good. I think this is the third round. Eight wins so far, yeah, unless we have uh, rotate. No, we don't have rotate goalies on. Well, we'll see what happens here. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, the third round. Come on, boys. Get me some, uh, just get some experience. That's good. You know, they've already made it far enough for my liking. They've already got, oh my God, they're going to the finals again. So back-to-back -back years, our AHL team is going to the finals. We won it last year, but last year was a bit cheap when we put all of our NHL players down there. This year, it's all of our AHL players and we're still up there. There you go. All right. Give Markstrom another win. There you go. Wait, Markstrom's up in the NHL team. Never mind. Look at this. Look at this. All right. There's a loss. There's a win, alright, so back to back years, our AHL team won the Calder, and they won it this year with a record of 39, 33, and 4, so you know what, that's what Scott Gomez does for us down there, okay, so you know what, I'm hoping that's good experience for Anthony Mantha uh, and Alexander Barkov, right, I'm really hoping that the, that really helps those guys out, uh, GM Tracker, okay, so, um, Assistant coach. No, I'm going to hold on to that. I'm going to hold on to that. 86 uh, points. I'll hold on to that. So your Stanley Cup champions, the New York Rangers. So it's not even like we lost to the Stanley Cup champion in the first round. Washington still lost to somebody. And the San Antonio R uh, Rampage, Calder Cup champions. Okay. So we will do a whole season. Uh, not a whole season. We've already done that. But the, uh, the postseason wrap-up, the awards, all that good stuff. Uh, we'll check out the playoff tree. We'll check out the... Um, what else is there to check out? No, I don't need to check out the uh, the stats of the playoffs. We'll just get everything uh, wrapped up. Then we'll go into scouting, contracts, progress reports. We can check out all that good stuff. I want to make sure I don't miss anything now with the new system. And also, yes, yes, yes. Um, you know what? I can hit two birds with one stone right here. Hang on a second. Okay, so we are up at the draft. Now, I remember going back to last year when I did the, uh, the prospect game. I checked out the overalls for the prospect game. What the hell happened? Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, so hang on. Let's just see if anyone retired here. Iggy's gone. Uh, 
Where would we be on this? Uh, Pronger is gone. QC. Okay, so we're in alphabetical order. So, Brian Campbell, look at that. So, we lost Brian Campbell. God damn it. I thought he'd be young enough that he could still play. He was only like 35 years old. So, Brian Campbell, we lost to retirement. Maxime Talbot, we lost. And Sean Thornton. Damn, man. That's a big one in Brian Campbell. It does free up some cap space. But uh, still, he was useful, man. He had a 50-point season. I don't know why he would retire. He had a great year last year. I wish I could look at his individual stats from here and check out what uh, kind of year he had. But we lost Brian Campbell. Okay, so that's uh, that kind of sucks. But what are you going to do about it, right? And then goaltenders. These are all they're all free agent goaltenders. Okay, so we lost our uh, offensive defenseman that we were using last year. So that is somebody that we need to replace because we were a, uh, a playoff team last year. You know, I want to get somebody that can replace him right away. It's not Kolakoff, good Branson, Myers. All right, it's none of those guys. you got to get a strictly offensive defenseman. So uh, that's somebody I'll have to keep my eye on. Um, now, going back to last year, what was this thing about the prospects game, right? You guys were saying that there was a 70-something uh, a overall player, a McGee or something like that. He got drafted by the Boston Bruins. So before I check out the prospects again for this year, let me just go back to Boston and uh, let me check out this guy, McGee. Uh, where is he? Maggie, there he is, all right? So Brandon Maggie, yeah, play, uh, playmaker, uh, three and a half stars. So yeah, you guys were right. I don't know how much he's jumped since last year, right? Because he still gets the offseason. But, uh, so if there's somebody like that I can find, I'll go after. His potential is not the greatest, though. But still, a, uh, I would have preferred him to be a two-way forward, power forward, grinder, or tough guy, right? Three-and-a-half star player, but still, not a bad pickup. So I'll uh, keep an eye out for that this time. Go to scouting. Uh, prospect game. All right, so I'll try to uh, watch out for any 70 overall players. Uh, Cramarosa. There you go, Garland, da, 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 55, 56, 51, 49, 51, 51, 46, 50. No, all these guys. All right, so I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anyone in there. Was McDavid on this team? No, I think he's on the other team. All right, and the white prospects. Ooh, a 60 overall left winger. All right, not bad. Uh, go down here, go down here, go to Oh, McDavid. There he is. See what I mean? You guys are saying pick up him for the first line left wing spot. He's 57 overall. He's going to take three or four years to get better. I mean, that's... It's a rebuild move. And then this guy, Jacob Smith, pop, two, uh, 62 overall playmaker. All right. Goaltenders. Let's see if there's any stud goalies in there. 62, 44, 56, and 51. All right. So the 62, Justin Miles. All right. So I'll keep him in mind. But uh, no 70 overall players, unless I'm blind like last year, okay? So there you go. That's that taken care of. What's next? Uh, we'll do awards, all that good stuff. So award screen. Let's see. So the New York Rangers are your Stanley Cup champions. Uh, President's Trophy, the New York Islanders, Clarence S. Campbell, Calgary Flames, Prince of Wales Trophy, the New York Rangers, Art Ross, Jonathan Taves, Hart Memorial, Jonathan Taves, James Norris, Drew Doughty. So uh, Campbell did not go out on a James Norris Trophy. Uh, Lady Bing, Phil Kessel, Calder Memorial, Mark Scheifele, Con Smythe, Henrik Lundqvist, Vesna Trophy, Eddie Lack. All right, so Eddie Lack won the uh, the Vesna. Good job. Uh, William M. Jennings, uh, James Reimer, and Jonathan Bernier, Bill Masterton, Rob Scuderi, Frank J. Selke, Pavel Dotsuk, Ted Lindsay, Jonathan Taves, and Maurice Richard, Alexander Ovechkin, okay? So there you go. There's the awards for you guys. Now, what we can do is a few different things. Let me go to... Uh, let me go to the trading block, and I'm pretty sure we only have our first-round pick for this year, but let me just double-check. Uh, players on the block, go up here. Want to sort out everything. Let, let's see if McDavid is a possibility. Yeah, so we only have our first-round pick this year, which is <laughs> going to be like the 25th overall pick or something like that, right? So we're not I, You know, I'm going to say it right now. We're not getting Connor McDavid, all right? We're not moving up to get the first overall pick in the draft. It's just it's not in our cards this year. We're not, we're not that kind of team, you know? Not that kind of team. Uh, so scouting reports, let's just see who's available out there. All right, so yeah, Connor McDavid is listed to go number one overall. Take a look at his individual stats. All right, yeah, he's not he's not going to be NHL ready by next year. So, I mean, he's a good prospect. He's a name that everyone wants to get on your team, obviously. But when I compare him to uh, Barkov, you got the exact same player, uh, player. Center playmaker. You know what, McDav McDavid may be a four and a half green star potential, which if he is, I take back. But if he's four and a half uh, yellow star potential, he's the exact same player as Barkov. And we already have a Barkov. All right, so uh, Nordgren, right wing sniper. Ooh, that guy. That might be somebody I want to go after. Right wing sniper. Just because I don't know his name. I know I don't have him scouted at all, but I love to uh, to draft snipers. Snipers, to me, are the best players to, that uh, 
that progress, basically. Playmakers, they get good, but snipers get really good. Uh, Ryan Pylon. I don't want to pile on back there as a defender. Uh, Pettit, no, two-way forward, and Bitmer, power forward. And I guess there's a goalie, uh, Weimer. Bosnia, geez, that's a new country uh, that I've, I've seen for a draftee. Ed Weimer. Uh, so he's listed to go top five. Okay, so you know what? The only draft pick that uh, kind of grabs my eye is this Henrik Nordgren. But I'm not going to be moving up to get him. I'm, I want to just keep uh, keep an eye on him after the draft. See uh, see how good he was, basically. Okay. I will try to see if the uh, trade is possible, but I'm going to tell you guys right now. I, I know it's not going to be. So hang on one second. Let me just blow my nose here. It's annoying. All right. So last but not least, before we head into the draft, let's just check out contracts now. Remember, they haven't made the jump just yet, but we can kind of guesstimate what we have going into next year. Markstrom's got to be signed this year, which is perfect because he's only 82 overall. We can maybe offer him something that Eddie Lack got, and then he'll get the jump at the end of free agency, and we can decide if not whether or not we want to keep him or not. You know what I mean? I think he could get a pretty mean jump, though, this year, boys. I think we could have 285, maybe Markstrom, maybe even an 86-87 overall goaltender at the end of this year. I'm not, gonna, like, I'm not guaranteeing it, but just watch out for that. He might get a big jump. Now, defenseman. All right, so Myers, 87, Kolokov, 85, Goodbranson, 83, Green, 82, Frazier. Did Ekblad get a jump? 76, he must have, right? Yeah, I guess that whole year playing in the uh, the CHL. Or maybe he was, yeah, there's no way he was 76 overall, so that's good. Uh, I mean, uh, he might get a, even more of a jump for next year, and he could replace Campbell. But for next year, we got Myers, Kolokov, Good Branson. All right, we know we're using those three guys. Ekblad, if he was ready, that would be very nice. And then we could go back to Frazier and Green if Ekblad is ready. If Ekblad's not ready, we're going to have to get somebody to replace uh, uh, Campbell. But if uh, Ekblad replaces Campbell, we do not have an offensive defenseman. So that's something to keep in mind, all right? If we start to lose games. If we're winning games, it's not a problem. But if we start to lose games. Oh, excuse me. And as for forwards, Huberto, Eberle, Mueller, Fleischman, Kopecky, Shore, Matthias. Yeah, all these guys can still play. Bickle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, so I don't think I want to move up to get anyone spectacular in the, in the, in the draft this year. I think we just got to draft, let it go by, whatever happens, happens. And uh, I just... Yeah, there's no one really that I want to go after. There's no one I want to trade for. I want to see free agency this year. That's the thing. I want to see free agency. So what did I say? We got the 25th overall pick. Holy crap, man. Chicago's got the first overall pick. Pittsburgh and then St. Louis. Jesus, man. Play your freaking starting goalies, you goofs. All right, so McDavid to freaking Chicago with Daves and Kane. God damn it. All right, so it looks like uh, Crosby's going to get a sniper there in Pittsburgh. Um, about that Nordgren uh, sniper, that Swedish sniper. So I'll just try it for you guys. I know you guys want to see it, right? So Chicago, here we go. Uh, oh, they want to give him up. All right, so at least that's something good. Uh, but the trade value, right? Halfway. All right, who can we trade? Can't trade any draft picks. I mean, I could trade away a bunch of first-round picks. I ain't doing that. I'm holding on to my first-round picks. Okay, I already traded away uh, one down here. So I'm not trading away another one. Not trading away any draft pick. I would trade away this one, right? So I could, yeah, I'd add that to the deal, sure. And then, let's see here. Uh, goaltenders. We'll go goalies first. All right. Yeah, I could put uh, I could put Dansk out there. Sure, why not, right? Put Dansk out there. All right. Defenseman, uh, Myers, Kolikov, Ekblad, Goodbranson. All right, so I'd have to give up one of those guys, which I am not doing. So there's no defenseman that can help out. All right. Uh, Yurko, Kopecky. Right, I could give up Yurko. Uh, can't give up Fleischman. He's only got one year left. All right, so I could give up uh, Anthony Mantha. Uh, I could give up Bailey. I could give up uh, Shore, Mueller, right? I could give up these guys that I put time into. Like, there you go, right? But that won't go through. And you know what? I'm not even going to try it. I don't want uh, Connor McDavid for this team. I like the team that we have. We're fine right now. Not going to be making any trades, all right? Uh, let me just uh, double check that any trades thing. Uh, five, five. Yep, I'm fine with that. Bickle, I'm holding on to Bickle. Barkov, Kolokov, yep, good Branson, Mueller, yeah, we're fine, we're fine, so I'm not going to be making any trades here at the deadline, I'm going to use my first overall pick, all right, ooh, looks like Chicago went after a, uh, that goaltender, Weimer, okay, uh, McDavid went to Pittsburgh and Nordgren to Phoenix, so I want to check out Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Phoenix, okay, 
Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Phoenix. Uh, now, these guys down here. So, looks like uh, I can pick up a couple three-and-a-half star players right here. Ginnell is a center two-way forward. That would work out. And uh, Varga, defensive defenseman. Now, I'll take the uh, the two-way forward. There you go. So, with that first overall pick, we picked up a three-and-a-half star two-way forward. Not too shabby. We don't have a second overall pick, so I'm just going to uh, automatically skip the draft. We know we don't need anything in there. Okay, the rest of the players are going to be three-star players. I need to get a better uh, a better scout before I start, I start finding people down there. Um, now, Chicago, Pittsburgh, and Phoenix. Let's check these guys out. All right, so we'll go to Chicago first. Let's see what that goalie was all about. Let's see what uh, Chicago passed up on. Because Chicago, they passed up. Oh, my God. Jonathan Davis is a five-star player now. He jumped up. Jesus. All right, so... Uh, yeah, alright, so they over, they uh, decided to uh, give up uh, Connor McDavid to get this 4.5 star, 56 overall, 18 years old, Ed Weimer goaltender, which is about right, because he's 12 years younger than uh, Crawford, so that's a perfect age, basically, 5 years, you know, um, yeah, that makes sense, you see what I mean about Connor McDavid, I know he's Connor McDavid, and in real life, any team would want to pick him up, he's like the next, like, Crosby Lottery, you know, that's how they're uh, talking about him, basically. But this is a video game, and in this video game, he's just like any other player who would go in the top three, all right? 57 overall, 18 years old, four and a half star gold star potential. It's not even green star potential. So, I mean, that would be a not a waste because he would become a good player eventually, but he doesn't fit into our uh, our team at all, all right? We already have Alexander Barkov. Well, let me just show you guys. Barkov, right? Where is he? Oh, he dropped down to the uh, red star. Fine, but he's 19 years old 63 overall four and a half red star potential right i mean it's the same freaking player basically so uh i'm glad i didn't make that move i, I am i'm glad i did not make that move and uh phoenix 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 let me just check out what that because that sniper did catch my eye i just wanted to see how good that sniper was let's see all skaters uh, oh, he, never mind. He's only four star, but he was 71 overall you see what i mean this guy was at least somewhat nhl ready and he'll be a pretty good player if he was four and a half star though my god he would be a stud but still, not a bad player there for, uh, for Phoenix, okay? So, we've done the draft now. Let's get to the uh, the resign stage. You know what? 17, 16, yeah. We can, um, I'd like to get the resign stage done in this video, and then we can uh, leave it at free agency. This is year, what, going into year three now. There could be some good free agents out there. All right, I've sometimes seen uh, Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves, I believe, in this year pop up. Now, they might resign them, I'm just saying. All right, so... We gotta sign Markstrom. Now, how much is he asking? If he's asking for less than three, that would be. Oh my God! He only wants 1.5. I'm gonna jack it up to eight years. All right. It's the same kind of thing. I'm gonna try and do in uh, Markstrom. Even if I have to trade him away, this works out. So about two mil, 0.3. Go down by. Yeah, you know what? I can go down to. Yeah, I can go down to 1.75. So Markstrom, eight years at 1.75. All right. Yeah, that's a great deal, especially if he gets that jump. Uh, Hauser, I'm going to release you. There you go. And yeah, the uh, the glitch is still here, so i got to watch out for that shit. You guys remind me if I uh, accidentally cut any players, all right? Uh, Green, Frazier, I'll hold off on you guys. I know I can resign them. Let me just wait, though, until I get everyone else signed. Everly, Kopecky, definitely got to... Well, I'll hold on to you. Hang on. Moss, hold on to you. Yurko, got to sign this guy. Let's see if I can give him something crazy here. If I give him eight years, he goes up to two mil. No, 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 that's too much for Yurko. I can still give him a two-way deal. He could still become a trading asset of the future. So, you know what? I'll just uh, .9, three years, a two-way deal. All right, for Yurko, there you go. And McFarland, I'm going to cut you. There you go. Okay, left wingers. Fleischman, definitely got to resign Fleischman. Oh, no! Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank God. <laughs> Fleischman, uh, two years. I just want to offer him whatever contract can uh, give me the least amount of salary. So, three. Yeah, that works out. 3.6 for two years for Fleischman. He had a good year. Kyle Clifford, I definitely want to re-sign this guy. How long? Uh, three years. Oh, yeah. Look at it. He wants, he wants some money when he starts. So that's good. He, maybe he's going to get better. So I'll give him a contract until he's 27 years old. That's about right. Three years at two mil. Okay. Uh, unsigned, unsigned. Yep. Huberto. All right. So big time contract for Jonathan Huberto now. Ooh, he only wants five mil. All right. Jack that up to eight years. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, hang on a second here. Uh, I can take it down by 1.2 mil, basically. Uh, you know what? Huberto, I'll give you six years. Yeah, I'll give you six years. Because eight years, you come out when you're 30 years old. Come out at 28, then I can sign you for another eight years. And you, that takes you to 36, basically. Yeah, that's about right. All right, so I'll give him... 
Yeah, six years at six mil for Jonathan Huberdeau, for our captain, our number one center. That's pretty good. You know he's going to want a big-time contract when he's 28 years old, though, but I'm willing to do that. Uh, Shore, got to sign this guy as well. Let's see how much Shore wants if I jack it up. Ooh, it's not bad. You know, I'll give you something that's along the same lines as Huberdeau. Six years is about right. I like that. Uh, three... We're going to have to jack that up to 2.75 for six years for sure. He had a really good season, and I know he's going to get a good jump this year. Sean Mathias as well. He, had, he played pretty good on the third line. I'm only going to give this guy a two-year deal, though. All right. There you go. 2.6 for two years. Uh, Scotty Gomez. I'm going to release Scott Gomez now. There's other people I can get in free agency. Thank you for your time on the AHL team, Scott Gomez. But uh, he's dropped down. For sure he's dropped down. Uh, Ginnell. All right, look at that. That was that guy that I drafted in the, uh, the first round. Three and a half star potential, 20 years old, not bad. All right, so at least a depth player that we got in that first round. All right, it's not horrible. I've had first round picks. I've um, only become uh, three star players before, so it's not a bad player to pick up. All right, so we will advance a day here. Yeah, 2052. We got to get to free agency as soon as possible here. I would hate it if I lost all this footage. All right, so Fleischman, we got back. Uh, Matthias, Markstrom, Huberdo, Shore. Yeah, we got everyone back. All right, so we got Markstrom signed now. That's going to be the big thing. Let's see how much he's going to jump for next year. But we got two goalies for less than, for three million basically, all right? So that's that's pretty good. That's a pretty good budget for a goaltender here in QC. Not doing too shabby about that. Now we got $17 million to spend. Let's see. I got all these guys to sign. All these rookies I don't need. I'm going to need Frazier. Frazier had a pretty good year on defense. And I can, yeah, I mean, that's that's a that's a really good contract. So I'll give him that. All right, there you go. Even if he's a debt player for the uh, for the playoffs, right? If I make a trade and uh, replace him, even a debt player for the playoffs works for me. One year for you, Matt Green. I don't know when I'm going to unload you. You're definitely not a franchise player, but you can help us out in the meantime. So 3.3 for one year. Uh, Kopecky, same thing. One year. He's 33 years old. Uh, yeah, yeah, one year, just to be certain, man. I don't know if you're going to drop off after a year. And uh, Moss, I think I could replace Moss with somebody else now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to replace Moss. Or just, uh, well, if he wants less than 1.5, I'll give him something. Two, nah, 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 nah. Too much for you, Moss. Too much, man. Uh, so I'm going to release Moss. There you go. Or Antoine Vermette. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, let's simulate ahead here. Let's see if we get Frazier, Green, Kopecky back on our team. So Kopecky's back, Green's back, and Frazier's back. Good. And we have $12 million to uh, work with going into free agency. So that is a good chunk. And that's a chunk that we need to use because uh, Campbell, 7.5 or whatever, that's where it's coming from, right? So we... Uh, I, we, we can't tell if Aaron Ekblad's going to jump, right? That's that's the thing. That's a strategy that you have to come up with in free agency now. Do you trust that Aaron Ekblad will be good enough to uh, be an NHL player and make us that 52-win team again and get us into that second round? Remember, it's not about playing the rookies anymore, boys. It's about having a better season than last year. We proved that we could be a good team. Yeah, we lost a player, a big-time player in uh, Campbell, but we can replace him, okay? So unrestricted free agents. All right, so there's no studs available, but there's definitely some uh, core players that, uh, not core players, but some depth players, like Peverly would be a good one. Brodziak would be a good one. Hansen maybe would be a good one, right? These perfect players to put on the third or fourth line. That's what I'm looking for. Goaltenders, all right, Kiprasov is in there. He still hasn't retired, apparently. All skaters, let's see if there's any good potential players. Yeah, I could sign some uh, good potential players. But as for actual players that could help us out, you guys let me know about that. All right, defensively. All right, there's a few there. Yeah, yeah, Martinez and Peckham. I could ch check out their individual stats, see if they're better than Frazier. I mean, we have 12, we have 12 million to, uh, to spend here, okay? And also, if you guys want us to make a trade to replace Campbell, I can do that as well. The way it looks right now, going into next year, if our team wasn't going to change, and you guys can judge us on how good we are, Lack and Markstrom are goaltenders. Defensemen, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? That's with Ekblad. So if we need somebody to replace Ekblad or Frazier, let me know now. And forwards, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. So we got 10 from last year that we used, but then the 11 and 12, Yurko and Lewis, that starts to drop off right there. So that's what I'm talking about. Maybe Brodziak and uh, and uh, Peverly would be perfect 11 and 12, and then some depth as well, okay? So you guys can let me know if there's any trades that we need to make, all right, if there's anything that we need to make, but uh, let me know now, and we will get the uh, Season 3 simulation started in the next video, all right? But be mindful of our rookies, because they, they are going to get a jump. And I will see you guys in the next video.